Hi everyone, it's Alexandra and I'm back with another video. Um, it has been a long, long time since uh, I have filmed, like a year and a half or so, like since before the pandemic. Um, but I am very excited to be back and share with you my 2021 bullet journal flip through. Um, this past year, I've only been really updating on Instagram. So if you've been following me there, you kind of have an idea of what I've been doing. But today I'm going to give you the full flip through. For 2021, I used a um, Loic Term bullet journal. It's the second bullet journal edition in the blush pink. And I really liked it because it the paper was thicker. Um, as a result, the there's only 206 pages in this journal as opposed to your standard 249. But it worked out perfectly because I literally have about five pages left in this journal for 2021. It, it served me the full year, which I was super excited about. And in my next video, I'm going to show you what I have um, planned for 2022. It's going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit different from what I've been doing for the past five or so years. So let's get to it. Okay. Um, for 2021, I did go with a floral theme. Um, and it was very nice because as I was planning out my months, um, I knew what I was going for. I had all my themes for the month already planned out with color schemes and everything. I had my word of the year for 2021, which was bloom, my yearly goals. And then here's where I had all of my um, themes already planned out with the colors that I wanted to use and all of that. And I, there was no like second guessing about what I wanted to, what theme I wanted to do, um, especially with two kids now, and really not having the time to think about these things. It really took the guesswork out of it and it made my life a lot easier. Um, here was my future log. So this was the first six months of 2021 and it brings us right into December. Reading log, which I did not use at all. I didn't read, there was no time to read. Um, I'm hoping that'll change in the new year, but we'll see. Um, we jump right into January and you'll notice that with all of my monthlies, I kept everything very cohesive. Um, you, I had your standard, you know, cover page, calendar, uh, gratitude, memories, and then you jump right into the weeklies. And with the weeklies, I pretty much use the same four or five um, weekly spreads every month. And so, you know, I, I, they, I, they were tried and true weekly spreads for me and I, I loved them and they were functional. And again, I really tried to go for minimalist, like floral this year uh, to tie into my word of the year, which was bloom. So January here, we have our first floral theme, calendar, gratitude, memories, and then right into our weeklies, little Dutch door. And then I always had like a taking stock page at the end of every month to close out the month. Um, which is like a snapshot of what's going on in your life that particular month. And it was like, you know, what I'm feeling, what I'm eating, what I'm creating, reading or watching, celebrating and loving. And then right into February, which was a um, wisteria theme. And on average, every month, it was about 15 to 20 pages. March was hydrangeas. And again, I really liked the vertical weekly layouts better than the horizontal. April was ferns. And if you notice, Throughout the year, it's kind of like in a rainbow progression. So I start with the the, the purples, and then by the end I of the year, I get to pink. But it's like, progresses in a rainbow color scheme. May was dandelions. And 
you see very cohesive. I didn't really venture out and do crazy things in this um, bullet journal for this year. I just really wanted efficiency. July was daisies. went on vacation end of August so I did a um, packing list I started doing things for back to school with the kids August was mums September was magnolias which was back to school and journaling when we went on vacation. October was, Bu I can never pronounce it, Bougain Valet, Bougain Valet. I don't know. It's uh, very prominent in Greece and I liked, I wanted to draw it up and remind me of like the summer, even though it was October. Very vibrant pink. November was anemones. Christmas list. Right into the weeklies. And then we get into December. Okay, it's December 2nd. And the reason why I have all of my layouts already drawn up is because, special announcement, December 20th, we are expecting our third child, our little, our second little girl. Um, and that was the biggest surprise of 2021. <laughs> um, I see, so I'm doing about two and a half weeks. So I have, if you remember with my first daughter, um, I had a before she gets here list and a hospital checklist. Um, so that is the big plan for December here. We're just waiting any day now. Um, and so we have that and I already, this is this current week, but I already have like all of my weeklies for December already drawn up because I just don't know when she's going to get here and I want to be prepared. So this brings us right into, you know, January 2nd with the taking stock page here at the very end on page 198. Um, again, I said this was at 206 pages. So yeah, I have like about five, six pages to spare. And this is how we're going to close out 2021. Um, so yeah, it's been a year as far as, you know, pregnancy and everything. Um, it's been very smooth so far and I'm very, very grateful. Um, and I find it fitting that um, my journal was like a pink color to document the whole um, pregnancy. And so this brings me to what my next video will be on for 2022. I am not doing a standard life term, uh, planner. I will be moving into it. I've already had it set up here and I'll show you my setup in the next video. I am moving into a Hobonichi cousin for 2022. Um, just because I was not struggling, but I had to really carve out time to do all these spreads. Uh, throughout the year and I know with a third child that I will not have the time at all so um, I'm going to go to the Hobonichi cousin where everything is drawn out and um, it also gives me a place for journaling especially marking milestones and things like that um, with all my kids but especially with my little one coming and so I would like to have everything in one place. I've noticed throughout the years that I am not the type to keep, I can't keep multiple planners at the same time. So it'll be nice to have everything in one place and really this be the hub of everything um, going forward. So that is my 2021 
bullet journal flip through. I'm hoping to get this. I have it pretty much set up for the most part and I'll show you what I've done maybe next week before the baby gets here um, for 2022. Um, very, very excited to show you. And that is it for now. I'm so happy to be back and um, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. Bye.